Hey, what's up, guys? It's me, Aaron here. I've trying. I've been trying to record this tutorial since like two hours. Oh my god! And it's not. It, it, the file keeps going corrupt. But like, I'm gonna chill and make this tutorial. <clears throat> so we're gonna make a new composition. Call this text. I've done this a thousand times, but trust me. Uh, I'm gonna be using the font machine font. And I'm going to type in to Tor Eel. Now you want to hit a line and center this out. Now you see this tool, you hit that, hold down control and center it up. I swear. I've been doing this for so long that I'm not even wishing to like pause at all. I don't want like to do this. So you're just going to scale this up around like right there, you know, however big it is. And I'm going to, and if you hit that, that, that's a proportional grid, by the way. And this is a tile grid, which you can make lines from. And that's ir completely irrelevant. Ir ir you know what? Never mind. Uh, that's a proportional grid, proportional grid, and that's all that matters. After Effects is based on mats, so if you don't, if you guys, if you guys don't know how to do mats, then uh, you guys ain't ain't here, because mats is basically mental abuse for mental abuse to humans and we need this okay we need mental abuse in our lives anyways so after we made the text we're gonna go into effects and presets and I'm using AE 2018 okay that's that's ir irrelevant ir ir irrelevant too but if you're using 2014 you guys gotta look for this if you go if a line is missing crap if a line is like missing for you, you can go into window and a line's right there. And if you're using 2014. So we're gonna add a gradient ramp onto this. And after you do, you can make this any color you want. So if you bring this down, you can make that red, for example, and you can make this black. And it's gonna give this awesome marvel looking effect if you if you're aiming for that. It doesn't need to be red, honestly. It could be any color you hope for. And then this is like blue, so you can make that white. Uh, it does that, and yeah, it looks kind of nice. I mean, you can make this any color. I'm legit right now. Any color. Make this black. Black. This black effect actually looks much better with <clears throat> with lighter colors and darker ones. So look, look at that. You could bring the black up a bit, so it goes a bit darker. I'm going to set this to white because that's the plain color and this gives it this like steel effect which looks honestly pretty sick. Now if you guys don't know how I'm like zooming out, it's the scroll wheel. And if you hit this, it could, you could fit this up, fit up to 100, you could change the scale, but yeah, that's the scroll wheel. And if you're like into something and you want to move around, hit, the, hit H on your keyboard and you can move around. And if you want to go back to the pointer tool, you can hit V on your keyboard and do that, and then hit fit so it fits. Pre-compose the text, make sure it's set to move, and you can check tick that if you want to. That looks pretty sick. Now what we're going to do is right click, hit layer styles, and hit stroke. I'm going to make the stroke like a 10, or like, or like a 9, I mean like an 8.5. Seven maybe? Yeah, looks pretty good. Now we're just gonna make that that a one D one D one D. So it's that number exactly. It has to be that number, or else you're failing school. Not really. I'm kind of triggered right now. So yeah, that looks pretty good. Now I'm gonna pre-compose this again and make sure it says to move, not leave, move. And then what, so just in case we need to change the stroke, we're going to add echo space right here. And echo space is a trap club plugin. You can get that if you want to pay for it. I'm not saying I got it for free. Neither am I saying I paid for it. All right. I'm not telling you, but I prefer paying for it. If you can't afford it, do what everybody does. I do not promote piracy in any way. And yeah. So now we're going to go into the repeater. Make the Y offset a 4. And make the scale a negative 1. I've been doing this for so long. Like making text every day. That 
it's just in my head now how to make text in After Effects. So I'm just giving you a little guide. You just need to memorize some stuff. If you're new, you're completely new to the program. Trust me. Hang on with me. Now you want to hit Control Alt Y on your keyboard, uh, or if you're on a Mac, Command, and go to your Effects and Presets and add a fill. Drag it right here and make the fill a black make the fill complete black and you're like what the heck did you do Aaron you just messed up my text it looks ugly you see this layer tag move it down whoa that looks like shark effects of course it does I am shark I mean sorry <laughs> I'm not shark effects but now if you hold down if you click on this scroll down hold down shift and hit the last thing that says main right click Precompose, move, and yeah, that looks nice. And and if you precompose, so what precompose is? These are compositions, and if you precompose, it's gonna make a new composition for everything. So you can go into that composition and edit that composition. Interesting, right? Yeah, I think that I thought that was pretty cool too. <coughs> so after you do that. You want to add a warp effect, and you want to set the set the warp style to shell lower, and it gives this little bend effect. And yeah, whoa, that looks kind of like that looks kind of cartoony. I mean, it doesn't look that bad. What happens if we make it a negative one hundred? Oh yeah, I can't even see anything, but whatever. So we're going to make that a negative 30. So it looks kind of like that. And make the vertical distortion a 10. Because why not? Now we're going to add transform. It's an effect. Just search through the effects and drag it on. Make the uniform scale around 120. Or maybe 125. Just, just do whatever you want. That looks pretty Gucci. <clears throat> So you see this little position thing? This is basically a grid. So if we set this to a zero of zero, let's say, it's gonna go right there. So what that is, that is the zero zero. And if we make the first one say 1080, it's gonna go, no, not not the first one, because the first one is the X axis. So if we make the bottom one say 1080, it's gonna go down there, because it's a 1920 by 1080. Oh, that makes sense, right? So if you make cuz that's the composition size we set it to earlier. So So you see that it's 1920 by 1080 make sure the frame rate is 60 FPS if it wasn't in the start I mean don't worry guys. It's gonna so just set this to uh, HDTV 1080 2997 and then set that to 60 FPS and hit okay so so that's a grid so if we make this a 960, that's going to be the center, because if you divide 1920 by 2, you're going to get 960. And if you put this down to, let's say, a 540, and if you divide 1080 by 2, then you're going to get 540. Interesting, right? So what we're going to do is we're just going to scale this up, turn off uniform scale. Sorry, that was on, and it looks like that. And we're just going to make the position go down a bit. So if you move this up, it's going to go down. And if you click on this key, it's going to open up the proportional grid. And you can just make sure the text is centered. 575. Yeah, that looks pretty good. So you can just 575 that. But yeah, that looks pretty Gucci in my opinion. I feel like the extrusion needs to be a bit more, so I'm going to make that uh, 130. And then move that down accordingly. So if I hit the proportional grid, I'm going to move that down to uh, 580 probably. No, that's way too much. Let's go 576. Yeah, that's perfect. 576 or maybe 577. I think it's a bit less. I just, you could you make it perfect, and 577, and uh, scale height is 130. Now, that looks pretty Gucci, in my opinion. You can make this, you can increase this accordingly. 
yeah, you can make that a 15 or whatever. Your choice, honestly. I'm not gonna, you know, mess with that. It just, it's all about what you want. You're gonna right click, layer styles, and add a stroke. And make the stroke like a 10. No, make the stroke like a 6. And it's full quality. And you can change this to white. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. In black. But you don't need to add the stroke. But if you want, you can add it. If you if you want, you can add the stroke. Make that like a four. Now you can make that any color you want, including red. And my favorite color, green. Whoa, man. But I'm gonna make that white because for the sake of this tutorial, so nobody gets triggered. Uh, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click on the text, hit time. Enable time remapping. If you see this end keyframe right here, hit delete. And it's just gonna render out the text for you. Oh my god, that saves so much rendering time and it's not so laggy when you use echo space. And that's how you make text, Gucci text. Now, all you have to do is, okay, so after you're done. And just in case you want to render this out, send it to the client or whatever, you hit composition, save frame as, file, and then it's going to take you to the render queue. Click on this output module and set this to PNG sequence, if I can see it right there. PNG sequence. And hit OK. Now I'm going to call this tutorial text because when I'm going to be editing, that's what I'm going to do. So, And I'm going to hit render. And after that renders, if I go to my documents and I find tutorial text, oh my god, that high quality text. Whoa. But anyways, <laughs> that's the text right there. Oh my god, I'm in love with this text. So you can hit file, save, and you can call this whatever you want. I'm going to call this tutorial text tutorial that's it because it's gonna be a full intro tutorial later on if this gets 20 likes and if this gets 20 likes i'll link the project files in the description and and i'm gonna hit save and it's gonna save the project now if you select all of this you can group this up and you can call this text now now by the way this is the text this is the original text the final text right here now let's Oh crap. File new new composition. Okay. That pops up. So yeah, that's it. So now let me teach you how to keyframe the beats, cause that's the last thing. So I'm gonna choose this song, Max Home, it's different. And I'll make a part two if this gets twenty likes. Alright. Hit L two times on your keyboard. And let's find the second drop, which is probably... So that's the quality. You can adjust that if your After Effects is lagging. Preview. And what I do is I turn on cache before playback. So it renders out the whole thing. And I can see it without any lag. And on um, spacebar, stop if caching. So if I hit the spacebar. <laughs> Sorry for the... Sorry, it's because OBS is open. It's kind of annoying. It's right here. It drops like right there. We can drag this out right here around wherever you want. And we can go. So what I just, I just dragged the composition into this composition icon. So if you guys are wondering. So you can select the song. You can put, call this song. So we're organized. So we're going to start off with this. This is the drop. So... So if we hit shift one, shift one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, whatever. So if you hold down shift, you can hit a number. It's going to make a keyframe. Or you could drag this, interestingly. So you can, you can right click on a marker and delete this marker, whatever. So let's like find the first keyframe. So hit shift one or drag those. You can drag those, interestingly. So let's go. I see that. I 
see that? That's like a little thing. And you just want to keyframe each like beat. So it goes something like that. I don't know. So you see that? And I see that right there. So that's a beat. It could be, so you could just, usually you'll find beats on like a hinge. So like that. So like this one, look at this one. So I don't even know which one it is, but if you see like a small hinge, it could be that. So I'm pretty sure it's this one. You could test that out. Make that a five. Constantly save so you don't lose your work. Just in case After Effects crashes. Just wanted to say After Effects is a buggy program, and if you want it to run smoothly on your computer, I recommend having eight gigs of RAM. Four gigs is a minimum. But it's gonna lag, trust me, right here. Eight gigs. So if you have eight gigs, you're pretty Gucci. So I can tell that's one. I can move that ahead. Yeah. I know that's one right there. Now I'm gonna just drink some of my Coke. Anyways, and then we're just gonna find this is a drop 100% guaranteed because it's going down, it's gonna go. That's that's one right there. I can tell, I can tell. Not don't try to fool me. This one was quick, so it goes. Oof. That, that, okay, so that looks like it. And that, that, that is the end. So, 11 key for, 11 markers. So what I can do is I can right click on this marker and call this end, and call this end transition. Transition. Okay. Okay. I usually hit enter, but for some reason enter doesn't work here. I'm going to call this start transition transition and hit okay and that looks pretty good so just in case i'm just gonna check and sometimes after effects slows down if you have less ram all of my ram is being eaten up by obs so and that's the end transition so i'm gonna hit save and yeah, guys, that's how you do the song. Uh, that's how you keyframe beats. And uh, and yeah, and that's how you make some of that Gucci text. Like that. And if you want me to add like a little adjustment to the text, make it much better. Then like, next tutorial, 20 likes, alright? 20 likes, that's all I'm asking for. Come on, guys, we can do it. So yeah, it's 20 likes, and I'll make the tutorial. Thanks for watching. Hey.